Crystal's Corner. Today we have Lady Brie on the ship. Hi. Today we are going to be talking about how to keep God first in a busy schedule. Yes. You know how life gets. You know how things can just come at you really hard. And after a while, you just kind of realize, whoa, like God is nowhere on my schedule. I have given him none of our time. So today we are going to talk about the impact of it and just how it plays out in our lives as well and what we do and how we see um, it affecting our lives when we don't have God in the mix. Okay, so we both have equally busy schedules, but for you, you're married, and that's a whole <laughs> different life. That's like, a, yes. that's like you live on Pluto. Like, it's a whole different lifestyle. You're yes. a married woman, you have your own ministry, you're a teacher. Like, mm -hmm. how do you balance God? Like, where is God? How? It gets a little hectic sometimes. Like, she did say, I'm married, I'm a teacher. This is going to be my second year being a teacher. Ministry, taking care of my husband, youth leaders at the church. So, it's a lot that's going on. Right. But I know for me, I had to realize that I would not, if it was not for God, I wouldn't have any of the things that I'm doing. So, I have to make sure that I make him a priority and mm -hmm. not just trying to throw him in somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because when you begin to treat God as like some quantity time instead of like quality time it begins to be a very very big issue so for me God comes first in the morning okay I need that when I wake up let me just spend time with him right now because I know throughout the day I get tired the kids at school get on my nerves <laughs> but yeah for me I have to definitely make sure that I be the first thing that I do in the morning time mm -hmm. is spend time with God so mm -hmm. yes because it can get crazy it, it can get crazy I think that in a world that's fighting for our attention that's mm -hmm. fighting for our um our peace almost you know it's so important to wake up in the morning or where whenever you have that free time to just sit before god and to just really really read his word because literally like that's that's really our soul food you know yes. and if you're not eating well obviously y'all know when y'all get hungry you get hangry and you want to fight somebody <laughs> so i feel like that's the way your soul gets whenever you don't have that soul food whenever you don't have that food feeling your body, you're going to run dry, you're going to feel tired, you're going to feel spiritually tired, you're going to be more, more prone to stumbling, more prone to sin, more prone to popping off, clapping back, Ooh. acting crazy, yes. not acting like a child of God. <laughs> so it's so important that you just stay in the word, you know, like make it a habit. And it doesn't mean it's legalistic, it just mm -hmm. means that you have chosen to be obedient and this is the way you're going to serve God, by giving him the first fruits of your day or by giving him the last fruits of your day mm -hmm. or by just having him throughout the whole day. Exactly. Exactly. It's really about your preference and how you can squeeze it into your schedule. There's no biblical, you know, you must be here at this hour and talk to me. <laughs> no, we're definitely serving a God of grace. So it's not strict. You must read at this time. You must read at this time. Yeah. No, like sit down, look at your schedule and put God in it because it's yeah. so important. He's the major ingredient. So when God isn't in your schedule, when God isn't first, how does that make you feel? I can only speak for me. This is my little life. I know for me, when I begin to neglect God's time, I can just see myself just going down and down and down. Things that can I can usually control, I begin to get a little upset about. Or if I'm in school and I know I didn't spend time with God, my whole day is off. Mm -hmm. So for me, like as soon as I walk inside of my classroom, I always get to school early. I'm going to just pray to God that he allow me to have a good day because mm -hmm. sometimes the kids can come in acting crazy. And I just can tell when I don't go in there and spend that time with God because I get annoyed very mm -hmm. fast. I be to pop off on people very very fast so i have to make sure that for my own sanity to make sure that i just spend time with him and just thank him for every single thing he's done because if i don't i'm just not the same person i don't mm -hmm. i don't feel like not saying i'm just i'm losing my christianity yeah. here but i'm just not the same person that i know that yeah. i am when i do spend time with god yeah i mean almost it's like we're not connected yeah you know yes. like god is the outlet you know and we should be the plug mm -hmm. that gets plugged into the outlet yes. um to get recharged it's so important especially with um, how toxic social media can get you know we're on social media we're seeing all these things our minds are being filled with so many things you know um, crime violence injustice other people's lives you know we're seeing these glamorous lives and we're like oh my gosh you know so we're feeding ourselves all of this somewhat polluting things into mm -hmm. our system and our soul and it's not healthy especially when you're unplugged from God and you're doing all of that because that could be very harmful for you it could give you more so negative thoughts it could make you kind of want to give give up on humanity in a mm -hmm. sense like you know what I'm done with earth moving to Pluto peace out <laughs> you know so um it's just so important to make sure you stay connected 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 to God because you need him. You know, we desperately need him. And it's like, you don't realize you need him until you don't have him. Exactly. You and really, I, yeah. 
And a lot of times I feel like even when you're doing stuff for the church, that can kind of take the place of your time with God because we think that, oh, I'm doing stuff for the kingdom mm -hmm. and I'm doing this and I'm busy with this and I'm busy with that. But you're still kind of missing that actual time where you can just be on your face, be on your knees and just praying to him. So a lot of times doing stuff for him can actually take the place of you actually spending that time with him. He loves that you're being obedient, doing what he told you to do, but that still should not neglect the actual time that you spend with him on one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. because that, that ministry isn't going to follow you up to those pearly exactly. gates it's just going to be you what did you do for me and mm -hmm. how did we get to spend that time with each other mm -hmm. like definitely like where is your heart you know like let it not be that you're praising God with your lips, mm. but your heart is so far from yes. God. And it's like, I even get convicted when I think about that because I'm doing all this stuff for God. I'm like, God, I love you, God. Bless you, you know, I praise you, God. But then my heart, what is my heart saying? Has my heart truly been broken and penetrated by the word of God? Have I hidden the word of God in my heart? Have I stored it as treasure? Do I find it dear to my heart? So these things convict me because it's like, it's true. You know, we walk around, I'm a Christian, I believe in God, but you're your heart is so far from God and yeah. the fruits of your life might even show you that mm -hmm. so it's just so important that you take it back yes bring it back a little bit and bring it all back <laughs> bring it all back yes. and reevaluate yes. you know ask yourself man like where is my heart you know how can I put God first what opportunities do I have to put God first because you know good and well that you have some time even though you do have a busy schedule we all have some time yes. for important things that mean a lot to us you know so it's um it's really important that you just have him first because it really affects our spirituality in general you know um there's a purpose why god wants that relationship he wants you to stay in tune with him mm -hmm. so that he can continue to pour into you continue to you know wash you and to for you to have that basically that rest that you're seeking in him and him mm -hmm. alone because of, without him you're running in circles you're just yeah. kind of doing things void fillers but with him he is the void filler period yes, you know yes, yes. so it's so important like we both you know like we talked about earlier how, how it affects you whenever you don't spend time with God and truly truly like I have an attitude you know <laughs> Lord I just can't I just can't process things clearly without the word of God and it's like without reading the word of God you can't remind yourself what the word says and that is a weapon literally the word of God is a weapon for you to use against evil thoughts simple thoughts simple situations but if you don't even know the word of God how are you going to use it yeah. how are you even going to remember it how do you remember something you don't even know or haven't even learned Wow. So you really, really have to get into the word of God. You yeah. have a weapon that your father has given you, but because you've neglected it, because you've kind of um, not really had time for it, you've been struggling. Mm -hmm. You've been sh struggling, okay? You've been struggling. And it's like God truly wants us to, to depend on that, to yeah. depend on his word, to depend on his Holy Spirit that he has sent to comfort us. So it's so important, guys. Um, I just want to encourage you to really, really get into that word and just do your best to um, stay rooted in it as well. And you don't necessarily necessarily have to because I know when I first um, came to Christ when I was oh my gosh I want to spend this time with God and you know I got my Bible and I'm starting to read and I'm trying to get through a whole book just to say that I read a whole book and it's not going to happen like that you have to literally sit and ask God to really just pour into you mm -hmm. my husband and I had literally just went through we said we're going to start with the Gospels so mm -hmm. we got to Matthew 1 we stayed on Matthew 1 not even the whole chapter we stayed on maybe like the first 15 verses because I was so intrigued by the lineage of Jesus mm -hmm. and it literally he just began to speak to me and I was like this is so so amazing so mm -hmm. don't feel like you have to read a whole book yeah. just to get inside of his word let God pour into you mm -hmm. let God give you revelation on exactly what he's trying to get you exactly. to say so just take some time out don't don't rush and try to do exactly. it okay you don't want a, a microwave relationship with Christ okay let <laughs> let that thing bake okay <laughs> let it bake <laughs> let it bake yeah. but really just spend that time with him but it doesn't have to be rushed you're mm -hmm. not on anybody else's clock Okay, mm -hmm. you're in your own time. You don't have to look at your sister's walk with Christ. She can get through a whole chapter. That's her. But you just have your own walk with Christ. And if you want to spend two hours on two verses, let God speak to you in those two verses like he wants to. Exactly. Quality over quantity. Yes. Don't forget. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, Lady Bree, for being here with no me today. Problem. I'm going to put all of her information in the description bar below. So make sure you check it out. You can find her on social media. Um, she has amazing things in Houston. If you're from Houston, definitely, definitely get connected. Connected. She holds events, so you definitely want to come out to those as well. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment below. Do you sometimes get burned out? Because we all do. So don't feel ashamed. 
uh, let us know. Let's all be vulnerable. Let's just be transparent in our struggles and hopefully someone on here can also help you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys next time on Crystal's Corner. Bye! There's not an official age when I decided to be a virgin.